Hello everyone, this is Sir Junix and welcome to my channel. Ang guwapo na ito, naka-t-shirt siya na fit. Tapos ganun-ganun siya, tapos o ivana ito yung lines mo, ganun-ganun. Sabi ko, oh my god, nakuha ang hot ng dating niya. This time, we're going to discuss already the tools present in Adobe Photoshop CS6. Make sure that you get your laptop and open your Adobe Photoshop CS6. If you don't have yet our Adobe Photoshop, make sure you click here and download it. I have there my free installation guide and a free to download Adobe Photoshop CS6. So without further delay, let's jump right into our computer and let's start having fun while learning and working Adobe Photoshop CS6. Okay, hello everyone. Welcome again to my channel. Again, this is Sir Junix, your teacher, your guide in learning Adobe Photoshop CS6. So at this time, we're going to start already learning the tools present in our Adobe Photoshop. To start, I would like you to open your Adobe Photoshop CS6. And if it's already open, I would like you to notice in the left side of our screen, you can see the tools present in our Adobe Photoshop. You can see here all the tools. Now, we will be discussing everything, but we're going to have it step by step. The tools present are the selection tools. We have also the crop and slice tools. We also have the measuring tools. We also have the retouching tools and painting tools, <laughs> drawing and type tools. And lastly, we have the navigation and 3D tools. At this, in this tutorial, I will be discussing to you only the selection tools first. The selection tools are the tools present in the first in the first four parts of our tools in the tools panel these are the marquee tools the move tool the lasso tool and the, the quick selection tool and the magic wand tool we will be discussing all the selection tools in this tutorial and again if you find this amazing if you like this video if you like this tutorial make sure to don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. To start doing and learning the selection tools, I would like you to open an image in our Adobe Photoshop CS6. To do that, we have three ways in doing it. The first way is either you click Control O and a pop-up will appear. Or you click and drag an image into your Adobe Photoshop CS6. Example for me, I will be locating the image that I will be placing into my Adobe Photoshop CS6. So I will be clicking this and drag it to my computer, to my Adobe Photoshop CS6. <laughs> I will close this. The third thing or the third step is to find the open option in the file window of our Adobe Photoshop CS6. You can locate that in the left side again of your, in the left, in the upper left part of your Adobe Photoshop. Hey, no, I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to talk to you. You can click here, this one, file. Then, find open. Then, click this one. And you will, you need to locate already the image that you're going to insert in your Adobe Photoshop CS6. Okay, we say for example, you already have the image, an image in your Adobe Photoshop CS6. What we need to do right now is to understand the tools present in our Adobe Photoshop, the selection tools. The first tool we will be discussing is the marquee tool. In our, mar in our tools, as you can see in the left side, you can find a triangle part of, uh, in our tools. Example here, as you can see it here, Meron kayong makikita na may triangle na maliit sa ilalim ng ating tools. It signifies that there are more tools present in that tool. There are hidden tools present in that tool. We say for example, in this marquee tool, if I right-click this one, you'll be able to see more tools present. So you can see a rectangular tool, rectangular marquee tool. You can also see an elliptical marquee tool a single row marquee tool and a single column marquee tool okay those tools actually are the same 
That's why they are grouped into one as marquee tool. They do a certain task. However, meron lang sila nakakaiba, nakakaiba-iba lang sila ng kanilang features. We'll say, for example, a rectangular marquee tool will create a rectangular selection. While an ellipse marquee tool, elliptical marquee tool, will create an elliptical selection. The same thing with the single row marquee tool and the single column marquee tool. Okay, ganyan po yung ginagawa niya. Same, nagsaselect. However, iba-iba lang, may specific lang, may specific difference lang sila. Okay? Oh, ang gulo na laman, ang gulo magsalita eh. Hindi maintindihan, ba sinabi? To do that, to understand the marquee tool, let's try to click first the rectangular marquee tool. Its purpose basically is to select in a rectangular shape. If makikita nyo, I will click here and drag. Okay? I have selected already a rectangular part in our image. Now, make sure and bear in mind, in the selection, if you use the selection, the purpose of it is to do something in that selection without affecting the unselected part of the image. Ibig sabihin po nito, if I selected only a part of that image, example, yung dito, yung sa my clouds, dito yung my clouds lang, I can only um, edit or I can only manipulate that um, selection in that clouds. Okay, ipapakita ko po sa inyo kung anong gagawin ko ha. We say, for example, I will cut it. Okay, I will right-click it and cut. Okay, kung makikita nyo, ngayon, let's use the move tool. Tapos, let's try to hide this background. Hide po natin ito. Click lang natin itong mata. Then, hide it. Okay, as you can see, ito na po yung selection natin kanina. Kinat natin siya. Kung makikita nyo dito, kung i- kung i-hide naman natin yung image na sinelect natin kanina, nawala na dito, naging black na. Okay? Oh, ang gulo na laman, ang gulo magsalita eh. Hindi maintindihan, ano ba sinabi? Let's use Control z to undo. Control alt z to undo. In this selection again, we say for example, I want to have a pure um, green color in that rectangle, rectangular selection. So, what I'm going to do is that I either click the paint bucket tool tapos pipili ako ng color green because gusto ko ng color green tapos I want to click here Kung makikita nyo dito okay, ating i-deselect para mas makita nyo right click to deselect okay, kanya lang po yan po, yan po yung mangyayari Basically, in the selection, um, if you selected something in the image, you can only manipulate the part of the image that you have selected. So the unselected part will not be, um, will not be affected. Okay, don't forget that. Pareho yung kanina, yung ginawa natin kanina, ito. What happened is, we were able to manipulate only what's inside the selection. Okay, so yung nagka-color green lang is inside the selection. Okay? Okay, this time we will be using the elliptical marquee tool. As I said a while ago, actually they have they have one purpose to select, but they have only different features. Example for elliptical, it creates a circle, rectangular it creates a rectangle. Same thing with this. Okay? You can create a selection in an elliptical form. Now, bear in mind if you are if you want to if you want to select a perfect circle, what you need to do is to click and drag, then press Alt and Shift. Okay? As you can see, even though you move your mouse or wherever you want, still, it's a perfect circle. Now, now you will notice, I cannot move the circle, the selection tool. What you need to do is, again, Make sure that you're still pressing Alt Shift, then press also Space. In that instance, you will be able to move your selection. And again, you may cut or copy. Hide this one, and that's your copied elliptical marquee tool. Okay, elliptical image. Oh my God! Wow! 
That's all guys. I hope you enjoyed learning Adobe Photoshop CS6 with me. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified to our latest video. And if you think that the video amazes you, make sure to click the like button. And don't forget to comment down below if you have more questions and suggestions for our videos. That's all. Thank you.